Hello Librans, this is your November 2021 general reading. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of November. <coughs> See what the guys have to say um, to you about what you uh, possibly uh, ought to be looking at. Uh, or lo watch out for, <laughs> for want of a better word, in November. Before we then go into your emotional well-being see if there's whatever comes in for love or whatever there is that still needs to be looked at or maybe needs to go um, and then we go into opportunities that arise um, in November energetically and that that will be that's what we're going to do right so remember before we do anything remember November is the 11th month 11 is a master number of all the master numbers there is it is the strongest and what that means is that the November as an energy has an extra oomph given to it. So anything you hear here will probably be even stronger when it reaches you, if that makes sense. So use that extra power to also amplify whatever it is you, 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 you ought to do to make some changes in your life. Because I'm feeling for Libra that it is important for you to be a bit proactive, if that makes sense, right? You are governed by the planet of Venus, right? Therefore, you have an extra special alignment with the universe. Out of the 12 star signs, only Libra Taurus and Cancer have an extra special and different alignment. <clears throat> Libra and Taurus, Libra and Taurus's alignment uh, is that you share Venus as your governing planet and Venus has a an energy helper called the pentagram of Venus right which is something you probably should just just google pentagram of Venus and that energy that this this flower energy of spirals um, that the universe creates as it's drawing out um, can help you greatly in in life so in my feeling it it, it um, would make a great tattoo it would help for you to realize that pentagrams are have got nothing to do with with anything horrific and they're also way older than paganism so you know there's so pentagrams are quite powerful and their energy is a helper um, of venus therefore is a helper of Libra in extension. So my feeling it just is um, for you to um, have a closer look at your um, your astronomical chart, if that makes sense. Have a look at your at your birth chart, and if you haven't got a notion what to do about it, I offer astrological charts. So um, get in touch with myself for thirty quid um, English pounds. I do write astrology reports. Um, you know about your birth chart and stuff to help you with the imprints that you have and came here anyway stop the the, the self-plugging it just came up here energetically and I, I, I wanted to share it because energetically speaking this is a month for Librans where the energy of the ruling planet of yours somehow seems extra powerful right really really important so Let's have a look what the guides are asking you to look at this very month. We are in the star sign of Libra and we are in November of 2021. You have the Ancestor of Hope, the Shaman of Song and the Hunter of Abundance. So this is all positive because what the guides are saying to you is the Shaman of Song is basically another way of saying be lighthearted, right? Which is your middle energy, which is the strongest of the three. You have the ancestor of hope, which means this is important this month to not only reflect on how you're feeling, but to realize if you shoot yourself in the foot and being down in the dumps, no one can get you out of there but you. Right? So what the guides are saying is the ancestor of hope means, you know, draw on any strengths you have left. And go like, yeah, I didn't come here to feel shit, right? And 
Start over. Do something. Kick ass. Make changes. Because you have the shaman of song. The more you go like, yeah, and I'm going to do something, but I'm going to do it lightheartedly. I'm not going to fight the world. I just literally tell them what I expect of them. Because you have the hunter of abundance. Which means if your energy idles higher and your vibration um, raises and you therefore are vibrationally higher, um, <clears throat> you manifest so much more. And you have the hunter of abundance. Which means there is abundance coming your way. Uh, provided you have a positive outlook and maybe also this is what I'm getting for for Librans look at your spiritual core which is why we probably talked about the astrology report and all that kind of stuff you came here super spiritual super deep right and also you came here to be the balance it is in your in your star sign you right you you the you the scales and so <coughs> Anything that isn't that is out of whack will affect you massively. And what I'm getting for you is to use your spiritual side, your spiritual core, to get back into balance. So maybe if you're a spiritual person, maybe it is time to look into what can I study that allows me um, to do any spiritual work for a living, if that makes sense. So there's changes coming if you so desire. If that makes sense, right? So let's have a look at your emotions and um, possible, you know, love and stuff. Mm. Mm. <coughs> you have the shaman of birth. You have the dancer of fear and the dancer of promise. The shaman of birth is saying it is time. Remember the power of 11? It is time for you to begin anew. That actually rhymed. It's time for you to begin anew. It could be a new song. <laughs> the Shaman of Birth tells you it is time to start either a new project or to be the, the new you. Right? It is time that this finally happened because your middle energy is the dancer of fear. So, what's holding you back? Is it you? Are you holding yourself back? Is it people in your life, situations in your life? What's holding you back? Time to step back a little and assess. And then say, I'm not going to be held back. right? And then reach out to your guides and say, like, okay, I've had enough of being held back. Help. right? There's no shame in, 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 in reaching out. But ultimately, in order for you to make any changes, you have to first shake the old off yourself if that makes sense and the dancer of fear is the middle animal here uh, sorry the middle, middle energy here um with regards to manifesting love or being a relationship that is actually supportive the dancer of fear is not a healthy energy right so don't worry that you may piss people off because you demand some change right if you cook for me five times a week i let you and if you then say you can't do mondays Right? Instead of being grateful for Tuesday to Friday, I would probably feel rejected because you stopped cooking for me. Right? Makes me sound like a dick. Not meant to. You give, people take. They become opportunists. They don't, they don't become nasty people necessarily. Right? So maybe it is time for, for you to take some of that kindness back that you spread around, you know, like glitter. That's all you need to do because you have the dancer of promise as the outgoing energy with regards to your love life. So what they're saying is if you are literally telling your partner or, or when you manifest one, whichever way this works for you right now, that you are valuable. In other words, that sounds a bit, sounds a bit, almost a bit selfish and a bit uh, egotistical, but it's not meant that way. You know, whoever wants to be with you in, the, in that capacity, very intimate capacity, has to deserve you first. And once you realize, I have a self-worth, and it has to be up there, right? And once it's up there, right, because I give 100%, I, I manifest someone who is 100% there for me, right? So this is all about your energy dragging its heels. And you have the dancer of promise, which means once you make changes, visible changes, um, you then can tap into what is out there in the universe up for grabs just for you, right? <coughs> so there's a bit of work 
with regards to um, manifesting or or sustaining love, if that makes sense. But um, that is the way it is. Now we're looking at your opportunities. You have the shaman of purification and the ancestor of memory. There's not necessarily all that much coming on, uh, coming in, um, or going on in November of 2021 for Librans. You have the shaman of purification. What they're saying to you is, if you are not where you feel you want to be, you need to cleanse that area. Maybe you need to tell someone that you're no longer happy where you are. Maybe you uh, should start Googling new opportunities. Whatever is happening here, anything that is stale doesn't work for you. But before you can just go from one thing to the next, you have to first purify your own energy. It feels to me that Librans, and at least energetically speaking, um, you're, you're in a bit of a uh, meh state. <laughs> right? You're not um, the most um, uplifted at, the point, at, at this point in time. And all the guys are saying as well, you know, um, uplift yourself. Go like, yeah, I can do this. Kick some ass. And, um, you know, it travels. Because you have the ancestor of memory, which means what holds you back a lot in the pursue of financial um, happiness, of, of, of let's just say the abundance that, that, that pays your bills, <laughs> if that makes sense, right? It's because you carry around some memories, maybe about how things should be, or maybe the way you have always done things. And all the guys are saying as well, we're constantly evolving. Maybe your old patterns do not work. Or maybe people have old patterns and you have outgrown them massively. So it is probably time for you to, um, to look elsewhere where your more spiritual outlook is actually seen and appreciated, right? That's that, Librans. Thank you so much. Bye.